following advice from somebody who's clearly not a 3D printer guru can lead you down a rabbit hole of confusion, especially when they're just trying to push products for their own personal gain. This is them. Um, and you may be able to tell the quality is pretty damn good across the board, uh, except for the, uh, the X1 Carbon is just straight jacked up. I don't know what's going on with it. And as you can see here, his affiliate links for the Solvo, the Cutie Tech, which are these two, and then the Infamous Tech, which he, you know, raved by. As you see, I'm the first fucking comment right here. Possible cooling issue, orientate the benching in a different way. Also check the filament setting in the, in the slicer. Make sure the fan is pumping at 100%. Also a type of filament. Everybody in here was kind of on board as well. And then this, yeah, this guy right here. His prints are outside the norm. He would have to show us full slicer print, whatever, whatever. And he goes right here. Just give me the gun. Just give me the weapon. Can't take an advertiser, content creator seriously when they have affiliate prints, affiliate links of the printers he likes. Uh, in my opinion, this guy's a clown. All right, this is with absolutely zero cooling. It should fail once it gets to like, I don't know, a third of the way up the hole. The hole. As you can see, that fan is not moving, so we'll see if this thing has a cooling issue, or that guy has a cooling issue. Again, the fan is not moving. It's starting to deform a little bit now. I had to turn off a fucking park cooling fan like three times. The thing just wanted to kick on and keep kicking on. All right, I proved my point with the cooling. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cooling fan back on, and then you're gonna see all of that little cooling issue go away as you can see once i turned off the cooling shit went to shit but i turned it back on trash the funnel also bad but let me print a regular one and show you guys the difference want to know how much i trust this printer i'm walking away to go take a shit this one right here is with no cooling as you can see, issues, PLA settings, fucking immaculate. A little bit of a bulge right there. And I did the one in PETG. You could see the pronounced uh, bottom hole, bottom line. But this shit still came out fire. So the next time you find yourself facing a 3D printer problem, remember, skip the questionable advice and trust only reliable resources. I recommend teaching tech Maker's Muse or Mr. Impy, I think it's Rick Impy. And hey, if you ever need a hand, I'm always here to help you guys out. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Bravo 17, going dark.